Hey everybody, Paul Humiller here at Dream Guitars, and this is an instrument that I had made for myself personally. So many of you know that we do lots of custom building here, bespoke guitars with all of our many different makers, um, but occasionally I need an instrument for my own arsenal, um, and this is one. So let me tell you about it. Um, this is a Don Musser slope shoulder dreadnought that I commissioned for myself. Um, I'm a singer songwriter, and I love to play um, different um, instruments for inspiration. So my own personal collection is made up of different sizes, shapes, a few steel strings, a few nylon strings, a few resonators. I like very different sounds so that when I pick it up, I'm inspired to write. For me, it's all about the songs inside the guitar. So um, what I did here was I asked Don because I've known Don a long time and I, and I was thinking to myself, who could build me a nice, you know, breathy, airy slope shoulder that had a lot of the energy I love about old Gibson guitars, but has modern playability. Um, sometimes I've kept several of the old vintage guitars in the past, but I, the playability is always, um, it's not always perfect on those, um, just because of the age and the issues that creep up after, you know, 80 or 100 years. So um, in this case, what I did was build exactly what I wanted and it came out amazing. So thanks to Don Musser, uh, he's a, of course a long time builder with lots of experience. So I had no doubt, we had a lot of fun and let me tell you what we did. So. First of all, it's a slope shoulder dreadnought. So 14 fret, very standard, sort of like a Gibson SJ configuration. Um, we decided to do Adirondack on the top, so it'll have a lot of headroom and, and um, I can play it in. I, I play my guitars a lot. So Adirondack can sound really great day one, but in a year, it really starts to come alive. So this one already is amazing. I'm looking forward to what the future will hold. Um, I sent Don some pictures of, of Sunburst that I really liked, and he nailed it. We're under really bright light here, so it's probably going to be a, maybe a bit red, more red, but if you look at the photos, and hopefully we'll capture the nice dark look that I was going for. And um, we did a belly bridge on it, just a simple rosette. The whole idea of this guitar was to keep it simple and let the woods and the tone speak. Um, we got a Brazilian rosewood fingerboard here. On the headstock, Don's idea was to put the Dream logo up there, so we threw that up there. We've got Waverly open back tuners on a plain mahogany neck. This is a really beautiful neck, very lightweight, and um, he left the back of it satin for me. So that was a request that I wanted a satin finish. And then really stunning flamed mahogany. So this is just good old mahogany, happens to have a gorgeous figure, very lightweight. The whole guitar is, is very light, and that was intentional, and I also gave him permission, because it's my guitar, to build it a little bit lighter than he might usually, because I really wanted that sort of boom that you get on some of the old Gibson guitars, which most of those are underbuilt. Um, in fact, most of them fail because they're underbuilt, but um, I like to push the envelope when I'm building it for myself, so um, he really achieved it. This was a fun process. I really want to thank Don again for um, trying so hard to accommodate my particular wishes. We're not, we're not that many, but they were particular. Um, and the biggest thing is the tone. So he nailed it. Uh, most of our makers are so um, experienced that it's no problem. As long as we get across to them what the, you, the client, or me, the client is looking for, they can nail it. So we have a lot of fun doing bespoke builds here at Dream Guitar. So thank you, Don Muster, for this SJ. And if you'd like to get something from Don or any of our builders, let me know. Cheers.